to be easily one of the most unique oil filter wrenches around. It looks a little bit like a strap wrench, but it really has very little to do with the traditional strap wrench that we know. So the point of this video is I want to show you a little bit about the tool, how it works, and give you a demonstration, and then you can decide for yourself if it really is the world's greatest oil filter wrench. But I think you'll be pretty impressed, especially since you've probably never seen one of these before. As we start to take a look at this wrench, you'll see some of the design is unique. The body is made of a very, very heavy duty plastic. It's designed to be a professional tool. When Facom released this, they did a lot of marketing and they really didn't intend it for the home mechanic or home garage. So as you can see here, its unique design includes a number of key features. It has a pretty strong grip to hold onto. In addition, it has a stainless steel band on the top and you can see some other parts as well. So as I go further in this video, I'll give you the actual demonstration and you can learn more about it. This is a little tiny Honda oil filter. I think this might be for a Goldwing. And it's real small, a couple, maybe two and a half inches in diameter. And then look at this beast. This isn't even actually for a car. This is actually for a home heating system. But you see these filters in uses on Caterpillars, John Deere's. This thing is huge. I mean, you look at my hand. This is a big, big filter. So what's amazing about this tool, and I'm going to set it right in front of these guys, is that this little tiny wrench is going to take off this filter and this one. And I'm going to show you how it works. So the first thing we're gonna do is show you how the action on this works. So there's one mechanical part that you can control, and right here you'll see, real close, zoom in on that, you've got a lock icon. I hope you can get a good look at that, and the unlock. So you can switch between the two. Switch it right now to the unlock, and once it's in the unlock position, you can take a hold of this ring, and it's not sharp, it won't cut you or anything. You can pull it out, and look at how big that thing gets. This is so big that I can put this thing on a filter this size. And there's still room to spare. So, take a look. so the way you're supposed to use this, you will place this blade, if you want to call it a blade, it's just a really well machined grip, on the edge of the filter. And when I flip this switch here, watch what happens. Woohoo! That sounds dangerous. When you want to loosen this guy, you start to push and watch that action real close. It's got a little bit of a swivel, but then this thing locks. Now obviously, Let's switch this back to unlock. You don't use it at the end like this. You use it near the base. And this is why this filter gets really, really good. So I'll hit the catch. So at this point, you have got on this filter an unbelievable grip. So let's show you on the big filter. This is even better. You get on this big, huge filter. So now my one wrench, I hit this button, and this thing is locked in. So this particular filter, like I said, is from a heating system. These are notorious for sticking because you have them on your heating system for a year or more. They don't lubricate real well around this O-ring and guys cannot get them off. You end up breaking them out. This thing, what I would do, put it a little bit closer to the base, lock that in, and this is getting a grip. When you go to pull this filter, this is going to turn so tight on this filter. I don't care how stuck it is, this filter is coming off. I don't even mess with those mounts anymore for the end of the filter caps, and I've got a whole bunch of them. I use this, I would say, 90% of the time. So let's take this off again. We'll pull this forward, take this off. So let's give you a little bit of a close-up more of this so you can see the teeth and see how well machined they are. And they do have a little tiny bit of surface rust from sitting in my box. So again, when Facom came out with this, this wasn't really designed for a home user in mind. I'll hit my switch. Woohoo! This thing is actually built for an auto mechanic. All their original materials were for the uh, folks to use these in professional garages. I got one of these from the UK about maybe about four years ago when they came out. I watched a video. I thought it looked like a piece of junk on it, but this thing weighs about a half a pound. It really is a fantastically made tool. So again, what I like about it is this is going to fit your wrench, your um, oil filter. I mean, that size, that size, and anything in between. And it's tiny, it's easy to clean, the oil doesn't get all over it. It really is fantastic. So this is tight right now. And when you wanna take this off, you basically have to move it like this. So what can happen is, as you do this, and one cool thing is you can see how well it actually ratchets. And that's pretty cool. So just like a pipe wrench works, and that's basically the design, it can slip on this. But the issue is gonna be, if you've got something in the way, so if you're, say, on the side of a machine or you're underneath a car and there's no clearance, you're not going to make it in a lot of cases. You only need a little bit of room. But again, if you're hitting something like that or you've got tight clearance here, this wrench, unfortunately, is not going to be the world's greatest wrench for you. It really is a unique design that's been around now a number of years. 
It's an unbelievably well-made tool. And I gotta tell you, once you use it, it's pretty clever and it's so compact that I love this thing because I take it with me if I'm gonna do work out in the yard or in the field. And now I can take off pretty much just about any normal size filter wrench. And with this grip, it's unbelievable the power you have. So it really is the go-to tool for most situations. So I don't know if you agree that it's the world's greatest wrench, but you kind of have to try it for yourself. I'm going to finish this review with a 360 of the oil filter wrench so you can see some extra detail. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so that you know about my latest videos. And if you have ideas, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.